what a value are you going to be bringing to this relationship? I feel like that's subjective only because totally the man. Totally subjective, sure. Well, the man would decide that. So it's like if he doesn't think I'm good enough to date well, him. Well, no, no, no. In this case, I'm asking you what you think. I assume that he's going to split. Th- that this potential guy is yeah, going to you- come up with all sorts of different metrics for whatever those are. But mm-hmm. you specifically, from your perception, what would you be bringing? Eula One sees moment. the pagan donated $200. Part of the feminist indoctrination, they put a chips in Gen Z and Alpha's head over ridding their cerebral cortex, making them say woman as the plural for motives <laughs> only known by Nancy Pelosi and Marcel Armini. Yeah, that's definitely about me. I don't get it. What does that mean? Is there, uh, thank you, Pagan. Thank you, well, Pagan for the he, he's saying that when Gen Z women are born, the doctor puts a microchip in their brain, which causes a short circuit or along their cerebral cortex. So when they say woman as a plural form of women, that's why. Hmm. It's a special that's... comment. <laughs> okay. Wait, you don't believe that? No. That's because he's trolling. No, I know. You, you didn't know. <laughs> you can't play it off now. You messed it all up. You can't play it off. Just a girl. You were so close. Just so close. Girl. So close. Anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> so back to this question. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, what would you be bringing to the table, do you think? That that is non reciprocal. So, like, if a man sees me on the street or something, like, what would what would be the traits that he would see that would draw him in? No, no, no. What would you be bringing to the table that he wouldn't be bringing to the table? Before she even answers, which I doubt she's going to be able to answer this question, isn't it funny how ladies usually have a long list of things they want in a man? But as soon as we, uh, they are asked, what are you bringing to that man's life? Then for some reason, oh, it's objective. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, it depends on person to person. Isn't that funny? For some reason, they know everything they want in a man, but they can't say what they are going to give to that man because relationships are transactional. That's why it's called a relationship. You give and you get back something. You should know what you are, what the other person is going to get from you. Right, but for some reason they have a hard time listing at least four things they're going to bring to that man. Usually, if it's not a car, I get my own job, I get a master's degree. If it's not those three things, they usually have trouble. I don't know why. In the context of what, like of I'm the confused. of a relationship. Like as far as like the maturity. Anything. Um. I mean, I don't know. It's just like I'm trying to like trying to be like open without thinking about like too like narrow-minded like you know what can I mean? you restate back to us the multiple traits that you listed out that you want in a man um i was saying i like a dominant man yep um is established mature and um i guess not an asshole i don't know <laughs> but so it's very easy. okay so it's easy for her to name everything she wants in a man right but when Andrew is like, okay, so let's say you get the man with all those traits. What are you bringing to his life? What traits? What characteristics? What are you going to offer him in return? She has no answer. Let's see. Easy for you to answer what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. But why is it a little harder for, like, here's all the traits that I want in the guy. Mm-hmm. Why can't you just as easily say, here's what I'm bringing? Mm-hmm. So what are those things? I mean, for me personally, like, it's definitely hard to, like, narrow things down because, like, the you things... You don't seem to have any trouble narrowing them down for what you want. Mm-hmm. Right, because that's in my perspective of what I want. But it's, like, it's hard for us as people to reflect that inward and know what traits. You know what I mean? Really? For- no, it's hard for you because you are selfish. You don't care about what the other person wants. You only care about what you want. So don't talk about... You might be right. Most people don't want to do that. They don't want to do the work to self-reflect and see what they have to work on. It takes work, right? But it means you are selfish. You only care about what you are getting from people. You don't care about what they get in return. So that's being Wait. selfish. Wait a second. Is I it... mean, in my opinion, because I can easily... Wait, don't you know yourself the best? Mm-hmm. You've been living with yourself for 19 years. You mm-hmm. know everything there is to know about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how would you not be able... If you're looking externally at externally, 
about men who I might not even know, I want X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. But why can't you just list out, well, here's what I'm bringing. Here's me. Mm -hmm. This is what I bring. Well, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know. Like, it's just hard to like. Okay, that's fair. You know, just, it's just, I think it's just the phrasing. is. Let like, me ask the second part of the question. Mm -hmm. What baggage would you bring? Good question. Baggage, I mean, relationship-wise or just mm -hmm. in general. Relationship. Um, Baggage-wise, I mean, I guess if they were to look at my sexual things, you know, like, mm -hmm. I guess, body count or my profession, um, the fact that I don't have a lot of relationship experience, um, I think age could also play a factor because that comes with the lack of experience. Mm -hmm. um, Do we have? Okay, so clearly she can name her weaknesses, right? But she cannot name the strengths that a man that she wants is going to get from her. That's weird. How can you know the things a man is not going to like about you, but you do not know what the things are that the man that you want is going to like about you? Now, maybe I should give her some grace. She's 19. But at the same time, she knows the things that the man, the man might not like about her. She should know the things the man might like about her. Maybe she's funny. I don't know. Maybe she, uh, she's, she doesn't argue so much. Those are simple things, but she seems to have a hard time having a list of naming them. We have at least four, four pieces of baggage. Right. Can we get one positive that you're going to be bringing? To this relationship that's non-reciprocal. Just from, one. From what men have told me, like in my personal life, they like me because I'm honest with them. I'm oh. funny, like in my personal life. Those are reciprocal life. traits, though. You would expect honesty as you're getting honesty, right? Right. So that's a reciprocal trait. It's a non-reciprocal trait that you think. Okay, so Andrew's asking for something different. You know, something that... Let's say honesty, both people should be honest to each other. But I think Andrew is asking, what is something a man, you're going to give a man that you don't expect back in return? You know, how a man might be uh, expected to pay the bills, but he's not expecting his woman to pay the bills. So he's ex asking for something like that. I don't think she's going to have an answer. Let's see. I think he would bring Something that would benefit him, no? Yeah. By being with you? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, that, that that's why I was saying it's up to the individual. Like, I'm not going to mm -hmm. be like, I don't know. Like, I'm just not like, I don't have like a giant ego. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to be like, oh, he's going to get to date the baddest bitch around and blah, blah, blah. Like, to me, that's subjective to whatever man I'm dating or whatever man finds interest. It's up to him to find those traits in me that he is attracted to and that's no it's not up to him you either have the traits or you do not now i'm going to give you a benefit of a doubt and assume you have the traits so what are those traits that make you different that your man is going to be excited about that's all we are asking i mean you are naming everything you want from a man what are you going to give that man like this lady said what are those things that are going to be beneficial to him no answer like I expected anyway. It's different for everybody. Wait, so... <laughs> How so nothing? Like, nothing. I feel like I have like just a different question that kind of would give the same answer. Like, what do you think a traditional man who's dominant, who's a provider, and all those things you listed would want in a woman? Did she say, I don't know if she said provider, although that would be an entailment of being traditional. traditional. Do you want a provider? Okay. So that, I'm assuming you want a guy to pay for the first date, right? To leave. You want a guy to pay, do you, would you want a guy to pay for like subsequent dates too? Uh, like, provider. Yeah, like, I mean, I think that comes with the dominant role. Okay. Um, so okay, since we know you want a dominant man, traditional man, you know his roles and everything he's supposed to do, then what are you giving him in return? What is your role when you are with a dominant traditional man? What's your role? That's all we're asking. Come on, lady. I have so faith in you. So you would be submissive then. Mm -hmm. I assume that's what you would bring. Right. 